what's up y'all welcome back to the channel's twan eagles 215 and if you're new make sure you comment make sure you subscribe to the channel guys i would greatly appreciate it now let's get right into this thing guys congratulations to our pro bowlers our pro bowlers that that are going to the pro bowl um we have jason kelsey we have brandon brooks we have zach ertz we have Fletcher Cox, and we have our long snapper, Rick Lovato. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. But those are five Pro Bowlers. Congratulations to you guys. Um, maybe next year we should we could get some more of our team in there. But with five people, I'm good and I'm happy with that. Now, let's get into this Dallas Cowboys melee madness you know, hate week. Let's just get right into it, guys. It's so much stuff to cover, so much to talk about. This is not the preview, but it's just a lot of stuff stirring in this pot. So I'm just going to jump right into it. Now, first I'm going to start off and say, um, Comrade Grugier Hill um, is probably going to be done. He got hurt. I forgot what he, I think he tore something or of that nature. But anyway, he won't be playing. Um, Dak Prescott also had an MRI on his shoulder, and he did not play. He well, he did not practice. Correction, De uh, Dak Prescott did not practice. Um, a lot of Cowboy fans are not worried. You know, you know, a lot of them is saying they really don't need his arm as much, but we will see. But um, you know, Cowboy fans need to be a little bit humble. You know, it's nothing wrong with you know, thinking you're going to win, but a lot of them is humble. The, the, the um, commentators are all over, you know, they, they basically got us losing, you know, they have us losing because we, we've looked, you know, not so good against these teams. That's not so good. You know what I mean? Redskins, the giants. And it's not that we didn't look good. It's just that it took so much to beat these teams. You know what I mean? But, you know, like I said, you have to humble yourself. You cannot get, you know, too far and just say, well, oh, they got practice squad guys. It can't be done. You know, uh, well, they, uh, Carson Wentz fumbles all the time. They can't win. You know, you got to humble yourself. Um, you know, Lane Johnson, I think is still maybe iffy. I mean, the the type of guy that Lane is, though, he'll probably play on one leg. You know, he'll play with a nub. You know what I mean? He don't care. He wanna, you know, that's the love of that's the love and passion for his brothers and his team that he has. Um, you know, also, you know, um, we just have to go out there and take care of business. You know what I mean? Game plan is gonna be a lot. This is a lot on the coaches, and this is a lot on the players. You know, the most thing, the most best thing to do is relax. Relax and remember your basics, your mechanics, and you know, don't worry about the advanced stuff. Get the easy stuff first, you know what I mean? But, you know, a lot of Cowboy fans, like I said, they're very high on this game. They basically got us counted out, you know, our backs is against the wall. But I just feel like with the injuries that we have, not having a wide receiver core, you know, I mean, we have no starters on the wide receiver core, none, okay? Granted, you know, so you guys have, Dallas have all their starting wide receivers, you know what I mean? So it's kind of like the pressure is, I feel like the pressure is not on us as much. It's kind of on y'all, you know what I mean? We can say, well, well, Carson Wentz, it's his big game. It is his big game, but, I mean, if he had his weapons and he was fully loaded and, you know, he can go into war with all his weapons, it'll be a, it, I believe, and I know it'll be a different story. You know what I mean? But he's going in with a few pocket knives and a few, um, you know, a few razors and things of that nature. He doesn't have his swords and his guns and he doesn't have that in his arsenal. So what he has to do is work with what he has. That's the first thing. You know what I mean? And like I said, you know, Dallas is pretty much well-rounded as far as injuries. They're not decimated in one big category as far as 
their they lost their whole linebacking core or they lost their whole offensive lineman or uh, lost all their defensive linemen. You know, so it's it's kind of like you know, if this was if y'all was in our shoes. I don't think a lot of y'all would be as confident. I just don't. You know, if you lose key players and you lose big time, you know, playmakers, I think all this becomes a different story. You know what I mean? As far as the Cowboy fans feeling themselves right now, you know, and like I said, you know, y'all have the right to, you know, y'all beat us the last three times. Y'all have the right to feel to be on cloud nine when it comes to playing us, I'm not taking nothing against you. But at the end of the day, I know that the game has to be played and the coaches have to coach. You know what I mean? So it's a big week, guys. Let me know what y'all thought about the video. It's always to the death of me, man. It's going to be fly, Eagles, fly.